Charlie, who's driving at the moment. Dexter and I decided to take a weekend away from London, escape the city madness, and have a chilled mini pre-spring break here in the beautiful Lake District. Neither Charlie or I, actually you figured out that you have been here before for rugby, right? Yeah, but I've never been here to like properly explore. And it's one of those places, isn't it, that's like a meant to be, well it is one of the most beautiful places in the UK. Yeah, so we thought we'd come and come for a little walking trip. My mum actually came walking here with a load of her girlfriends last summer and she would not stop, stop going. Back. <laughs> she wouldn't stop no, telling us how amazing it was. So we've been pretty keen to come up here ever since. And it's surprisingly <laughs> easy to get up here from London. I think it would probably be about a five or six hour drive, but we took a Virgin train yesterday um, afternoon and it was Under two three and a half hours, two and three quarters. Yeah, two and three quarters. Really not that far. And of course it meant that we were able to bring Dexter with us. And just a super easy journey from London. We got an off-peak ticket, so it was surprisingly affordable and um, definitely much cheaper than going abroad. So we're making the most of the British countryside. And it's sunny today. And it's sunny. I'm actually really, really warm. We're actually on our way to Lake Windermere. And yesterday we started our exploring, actually. So we got into the hotel. We're staying at a lovely place called Villa Levens. And we arrived, we unpacked a little bit, and we checked the National Trust website and went to a castle, walked around there until it's started heaving with rain so then we just cooped up inside with a coffee and um, we went for dinner at the hotel which was delicious it wasn't was it so it was fabulous seriously good. yeah I, I think, had um, what were you gonna say? I, I think that's one thing about this area and in, in general like exploring the UK is the food yeah like different types of food different produce different ways of cooking it mm. so it's nice just to explore even if you've got a passion for food right? yeah we really were amazed by how fab our food was and last good night value, right yeah because london value. it makes london just look crazy yeah i had pork uh piglets lollipops as my starter which were just absolutely scrumptious and then i went for truffle gnocchi charlie had a fillet steak and uh, that was amazing and then we shared so nice for him and for us because we just feel relaxed yes we've got him so lake windermere is first on the agenda today hopefully we'll find a really lovely cozy pub for lunch um and then tomorrow and this afternoon just more hiking checking out some more national trust properties there's just so much to do around here there's so breweries that you can explore yeah Don't breweries, know whether we're gonna do breweries. That charlie and i are both off the drink temporarily so may not do that one this time but it's nice to save some stuff next time so yeah i thought i'd bring you guys along with me so uh, let's get going we have arrived in windermere and we've parked up and just exploring the town, we just went to a place called the Angel Inn for a little bit of pub lunch to set us off. Charlie had a burger, and I just had some nice tomato soup. It was exactly what we were craving. And pork scratchings. Yes, and some pork scratchings. Nice Luckily, most fish. places around here are very dog friendly, so we had lots of options. Uh, walking through the town again now, and then we're going to hopefully find some walks to do. There are so many fish and chip shops and ice cream places. So we're going to pick up a nice ice cream. There's so many dogs as well, so Dex is making lots of friends. We're going to find some ice cream to take on our walk.
think there must be like an RAF base nearby because these Proper super, guns. super jets, like Charlie just gun. said it's like Top Gun, keep flying over us doing like loopy loops in the sky and it is reverberating. It's so loud, isn't it? It's oh amazing my goodness. noise. We it? used to have planes like that flying over us in Gloucester. <laughs> Gloucester. Um, meanwhile, Dexter is just totally obsessed with these sheep. He's just staring at them. I don't like you, Dexter. Oh, <laughs> Who are you, new pals? We've come to a place now called Ray Castle and if you imagine like a fairy tale castle this is pretty much it. Have a look behind me at this spectacular building. It's so such an iconic castle shape. Uh, Charlie's trying desperately hard to get a photo of Dexter but Dexter. the little chap is not playing along. We're gonna go for one of the nice walks around here. Um, there are just so many walks around here as you can imagine and also so many incredible buildings. I think this must be the most crowded National Trust property per square mile um, in the whole of the UK. Every every time we're driving we just keep seeing country house after country house and uh, they're all equally as spectacular. <laughs> to that side of me is the most amazing view of the lake, that's Lake Windermere. It only took us about 20 minutes to drive from one side of the lake to the other despite the fact that it is the largest lake in England. We didn't fancy walking all the way around, we thought it'd be dark by the time we got here if we did that. Um, and also behind me, hopefully the camera's picking it up, but there are some snow-capped hills. I don't think they quite qualify as mountains, but despite the fact that it's actually fairly warm today, there's still some snow high up on the peaks. Sadly, we can't get into the castle because it's still technically low season, um, but there are loads of people just milling around, going for, going for their own walks, but yeah. We're not allowed into the castle, so we're just gonna go and have a wander around, enjoy the beautiful grounds, and take this little chap for a nice long walk to tire him out. Another fabulous, beautiful sunny morning here in the Lake District. Just taking this little chap out for his morning ablutions. Um, apologies I didn't properly talk too much at the end of yesterday. Charlie and I and Dexter were all fairly knackered from our long walks. We went to the beautiful Ray Castle as you saw and then um, we hopped back in the car and we were going to go to a place called Hawk's Head or Hawksmead. Um, but we took a wrong turn and ended up down some really beautiful country lanes but it just wasn't where we wanted to be so we're gonna head there this morning after breakfast we're so so lucky with the weather this is just a perfect crisp english country morning um so last night yeah we got back eventually all three of us took a shower because dexter was rather muddy as well so yes literally all three of us took showers and then we went to a pub very close to where we're staying in levens called the hare and the hound and it was so lovely because it was a very typical English pub, not like these 
chain pubs that you get in London and definitely not one of these kind of boutique pubs. It was a proper old school English pub, which I really enjoyed. Uh, Charlie had fish and chips and I had a beef pie. So it was a very traditional, proper English meal. And Dexter was welcome there, of course. So that was really lovely to have dinner, the three of us. Today is our last day, but we're gonna make the most of every second. We're gonna to go to that village. Um, we spoke to mum and apparently there's loads of really cute little cafes. So we're going to make that our first port of call. And then we're going to find some more lovely long walks. I think I mentioned yesterday, but there's also a brewery and at the village that we're going to, but because we're not drinking at the moment, we're gonna give that a miss. But I think it's really lovely to leave some things for next time. So that's another thing that you could do around here. But for now, Let's go and have some breakfast and get going with the day. village of Hawk's Head now. I think I might have called it Hogsmeade earlier, which is definitely <laughs> something out of Harry Potter and not a real place. It does so, feel uh, like Hogsmeade. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> We're saying it feels like a town that time forgot. It's very oldie worldy, very quiet. We are pretty much the only people here. We've seen maybe five other people. It's, it's, it's pretty quiet. Most very shops quiet. are closed as well. I Lots. think it's very um, seasonal here. Yeah. Lots of ice cream shops and lots of Beatrix Potter shops. I think she might have lived near here. Um, so we're going to carry on having a little wonder, get a coffee, and then I think we're going to find another nice lakeside walk. now and we're taking about an hour long hike which is going to take us to uh, I think a big manor house with a man-made lake we can almost see Lake Windermere over on the hills I was just saying to Charlie you could almost be hiking in the Swiss Alps right now it's just that kind of scenery especially with the snow-capped mountains over in the background almost feels like we're walking at altitude as well a little bit out of breath not gonna lie the only thing that's missing is that donging of a uh, Cowbells, Cowbells, yeah, in the background, but it's so so beautiful. Dexter is loving life. <laughs> been hiking for about I'd say an hour and a half yeah we were trying to find um, somewhere called Tarn House and apparently it was that man-made lake um, but we followed all the signs and the walk was meant to be an hour but we've been going for an hour and a half we still haven't found it so we've admitted defeat and we're going to head back to Hawks Head now um, mostly because Charlie and I are really craving some lunch definitely craving a Sunday roast roast beef and Yorkshire pudding would go down a treat right now so we've got about an hour and a half walk back maybe we'll find um, a shortcut maybe if we walk along the road it might be a little bit quicker Dexter is starting to tire <laughs> he's doing very well considering how little his legs are <laughs> don't you think daddy <laughs> Dog. We have to carry little boys because their legs are very small. Prince. He's such a prince. This is so good. Mm -hmm. After about three hours of walking, we found finally found our way back to Hawk's Head. And we are now at a pub called Queen's Head. And we have lucked out because look how great this lunch looks. I've gone for a chive knocky. Um, and breaded halloumi. What have you gone for, darling? Um, battered scampi. 
which looks immense, and a ploughman's, which I was really craving. Yeah. Pan the ploughman. <laughs> Do you want me to take a picture for you? Oh no, oh, no that's, very that's very kind though, thank you. <laughs> right, it's safe to say that we utterly have earned this, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> So we've made it back to the car park. Charlie's just, I feel like I'm talking really strangely because my mouth is so frozen. Um, Charlie's just gone to figure out how to pay. So Dexter and I, just chilling in the car, picked up an amazing ice cream. This is like a pistachio sorbet from the little ice cream shop, which was in the little village of Hawkshead. And I think now we're gonna have to head back to the train station. So when we booked the tickets they were really flexible you didn't actually have to book your return journey home when we paid so we're making the most of that flexibility we've chosen to get the 343 train home and we should be in london at around seven o'clock this evening so back in time for work tomorrow it's been such a perfect way to spend the weekend i definitely want to plan maybe like a girls trip here or perhaps come with my mum and a few of her friends it's just such a nice place to come and escape london escape the city we both feel like we've had an air detox in our lungs this weekend definitely think i want to come back when it's a little bit warmer maybe like later on in the spring or in the summer there's so much to do here charlie and i have pretty much just done walking but but we keep meeting lots of locals and other tourists or visitors and they keep telling us more and more things to do so we definitely want to travel back here and definitely bring dexter along it was just so so easy so i think that's charlie on the way back now so i'll catch up with you guys again on the train home. after what has been an incredible weekend. Charlie and I were just saying it's insane to think that we're pretty much the other side of the country today, all the way up north, and yeah, it only took us under three hours to get back to London, so incredible. We made the most of the train journey as well. I showed you a few clips, um, but we managed to get a table seat, so I did a little bit of work, and then when I got brain dead, I used the Virgin Beam service, which I'd never used before, but it's so cool. Basically, you just download the Beam app on your phone, I think you might be able to do it on your laptop as well. And then you can watch films, TV series. I was even reading Cosmopolitan. Um, they had a like mindfulness little brochure as well. So that was really, really cool. And that's a free service. So I definitely made the most out of that. Charlie was watching stuff on his phone as well. Dexter was just sleeping and looking out the window. So great way to pass the time, much better than driving. I think um, that if we'd have driven, Charlie and I just would have ended up having an argument because he'd have been bored stiffless driving whereas that way we both could do what we wanted to do so definitely recommend taking the train if you're going to go somewhere as far away as the lake district we are already mentally planning our next trip as i mentioned earlier there are just so many things to do there there's loads of lovely boutique hotels and i'm just totally blown away by the food there as well the place that we went for lunch was scrumptious uh the dinner on the first night especially at the villa levens was fabulous so Definitely more of a foodie destination than I thought, so Charlie was really, really happy with that. And so nice to be able to go on holiday with our dog as well. Dexter absolutely loved it. He is completely worn out. I can't believe how long he walked today. He did very, very well. Um, and I'm absolutely shattered too. That walk has totally bamboozled me, so we're gonna get an early night. Really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you'd like to see some more travel vlogs, and that is all from me. Thank you so much for watching our little UK mini holiday. Um, 
and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye!